There is a war going on in Christianity, and it's a war between the gospel of love and the gospel of fear. I'm Gary Amaralt, and I'm with Tentmaker Ministries, and we have a lot of material on the internet that talks about the gospel of love. And that gospel of love we call the victorious gospel of Jesus Christ. And what we mean by the victorious gospel of Jesus Christ is that Jesus Christ, as Paul said, God will have all men be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. That in Jesus Christ, all mankind, everyone who died in Adam, will ultimately be reconciled in Jesus Christ. Now that's really good news to those people who have no hope, to, to those people who are drowning in sin, to those people who have been abused and rejected by church. There are millions, no, there are billions of people around the world that call that kind of news good news, victorious news, the gospel of love, that love never fails. Nothing is impossible with love. But the gospel of fear, which has been the traditional gospel in church for the last 1600 years, that gospel for many people on the face of the earth is not good news because that gospel doesn't reach that sinner in the depths of their de despair. The traditional gospel says that, that most of mankind is not going to receive the grace given by Jesus Christ. Most of mankind is going to miss it, either because they were too stupid, too stubborn, too rebellious, too sinful, just not good enough to make it to heaven. And for those people who are under condemnation and uh, condemnation, the, the gospel that says if you accept Jesus Christ and you confess your sins and you go to church and you do the things that church tells you to do, that gospel hasn't worked for millions of Christians who have tried it. But the gospel of love says it doesn't depend on who you are or who you know or what you have done. Salvation is not of works, lest you be found self boasting. Salvation is a gift, a gift that has extended to all of mankind. And we find that in Romans 5.18, uh, that in, in Adam all died, in Adam everyone was condemned, but in Jesus Christ. All of those condemned by the sin of Adam will be reconciled and be given eternal life in Jesus Christ. That's really good news. But those who are, who are bound up in the gospel of fear, they say, Gary, that is not very good news because we know that most of mankind is not going to make it. Most of mankind is not going to receive that grace. Most of mankind is too stupid or too rebellious. For you to tell everybody that God loves everybody and God is going to save all mankind, that's terrible. That's heresy. You're putting them in danger. You're putting them in the danger of being eternally tormented forever because they didn't receive Jesus Christ in this lifetime. That's a terrible gospel that you're preaching to these people. They're afraid that the gospel of love that's in my heart will cause some people to burn in hell. They're afraid. They say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. They are not uncomfortable with the fear in their heart. They're very comfortable with a gospel that preaches fear. But under the New Covenant, the New Covenant says perfect love casts out fear. That the verse that says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, that's in the Old Covenant, a covenant of works, a covenant that has been abolished according to Paul. 
So millions of Christians have mixed the gospel of fear, the gospel, what Paul calls the ministry of condemnation, the ministry of death. That is the old covenant. Christians have mixed that old covenant with the new covenant and as a result have forfeited grace, as a result are, are no longer living in the power of the Holy Spirit. They're living under the bondage of fear. And they're afraid that my victorious gospel of Jesus Christ, my gospel of love, will actually cause people to go into a place in which they will be eternally tormented forever and ever. There's a minister in my town who said, Gary, if I believe in your gospel that Jesus is going to draw all mankind unto himself through what he did on the cross, I'd stop doing all the things that I'm doing. I'd stop reaching out to people. I'd stop preaching. I would go to Hawaii and just enjoy myself. And by her statement, she has acknowledged that what is in her heart is not a love for the people around her, but a fear that they'll be eternally damned. Her message is motivated by fear and not by love. She was amazed that I would be out in the community talking to people, sharing Jesus with people, reading my Bible, doing all the things that she thinks a good Christian should do. She's amazed that I do these kind of things because she, she, it, in her mind, why would I be doing these kind of things if everyone is going to be saved? And she doesn't get it that I'm doing these things because the love of God has been shed in my heart. I reach out with the love of God because that love constrains me not to do otherwise. That love that Jesus poured into my heart is a love that loves all mankind. And I can't do anything else other than share the love of God that he has for every single person on the face of this earth. The gospel of fear has filled the churches, but it hasn't given the people in those churches victory, and it hasn't given them the love that Jesus wants in their heart. Why? Because that love has been crowded out with fear. That love has been crowded out with a, a covenant that is non-existent anymore. The covenant of death. The ministry of condemnation. It's time the church abolish once and for all the old covenant, the ministry of condemnation, the ministry of death, and enter into the new covenant. A covenant of love. A love that abolishes death. A love that overcomes sin and selfishness in Satan. A love that never fails. So my dear Christian and my dear non-Christian, there's a choice in this world. Live and walk and breathe the gospel of love, the victorious gospel of Jesus Christ, or live in fear. Go out there and preach to people because you're afraid they're going to burn in hell. A hell that, according to that gospel, God made. A gospel that loses most of mankind. Choose ye this day which gospel you will preach and which God you will worship and declare a gospel and a God in which nothing is impossible or a gospel of fear in which almost nothing is possible even with God choose and I hope and pray you choose the God of love